So the sound that we hear in our ears is not exactly an accurate representation of intensity. So why would that be? Well, we've discussed before about infrasound and ultrasound, and of course, we can't hear those. But it turns out that the human ear has different sensitivities for different frequencies of sound. So the human ear is, uh, when we get close to ultrasound or close to infrasound, the human ear is less sensitive than frequencies right in the middle. So what do you suppose the human ear is most sensitive to? Well, it turns out that the human ear is most sensitive to the sound of other humans, as you might have expected. So speech has a frequency of about three to four kilohertz, give or take a bit. And so the human ear is able to pick these frequencies up more easily than any other set of frequencies. That means that even if a sound is very intense, if it has frequency that is much higher or much lower than three or four kilohertz, then it might not sound as loud as a different sound of the same intensity at those frequencies. So the frequency and intensity of, this, of different sounds will determine how loud they seem to us. So the loudest sound will be something with very high intensity and a frequency to right at the peak sensitivity of the human ear, three to four kilohertz. So if we're making things like hearing aids or hearing protection, then we need to make sure that they're able to compensate for the high intensity of different sounds, but especially at that point of greatest sensitivity, three to four kilohertz. Of course, because of the hearing damage that can occur at about 90 decibels and above, hearing protection can be quite important if, for example, you work with power tools all day. Does a sound with higher volume always sound louder to us? Now think carefully before you answer. The trick here is that we have to worry about whether it sounds louder to us. Remember that the human ear is not equally sensitive to all different frequencies. So the human ear will have different sensitivities to different frequencies, which means that sounds with higher volume do not always sound louder to us. Our sounds, uh, our ears rather, are most sensitive to the frequencies of ordinary conversation. It is about three to four kilohertz and they're less sensitive as we move further away from these frequencies. In fact, if we move below about 20 hertz or above 20 kilohertz, sounds will be completely inaudible. So that means that regardless of how high the volume of an infrasound or of an ultrasound is, we won't be able to hear it. 